Have you ever tried to make or eat 1950s tomato soup cake? That's what we're doing today. Welcome back to Rich and Sarah Idaho home. Welcome back to another day in the life of a homeschool mom, day in the life of a traditional life, uh, all sorts of things like that. If you are a homemaker and you are looking for courage and inspiration, uh, I invite you to click that red subscribe button and join our YouTube family. Today I am sitting here, it is Saturday. I'm sitting on the front porch doing a devotional this morning. Well, it's actually kind of moved into afternoon now. This is really a great devotional. It's called New Morning Mercies. Um, and it is by Trip, who is the author. So I will link it below. But I'm reading today's. Uh, it is a busy just a busy time. We have a garage sale that Robbie's soccer team is putting on, a huge yard sale to kind of be a, um, I don't know what you would call it. I guess it's to raise money and fundraising and all that sort of thing. So today I'm running around collecting all sorts of goodies from neighbors and from friends nearby to help for this yard sale next week. All right, everybody, it is now afternoon and we picked up, so whenever Rich closes on a house, we take the clients a really pretty basket full of stuff and a cake from a cake shop um, nearby. I think that they are actually a franchise, so they're probably everywhere. Um, but anyway, we picked up a cake for his clients and then I picked up little baby mini bun cakes um, for our neighbor next door, uh, two doors down, because she um, just having a rough week. And then I picked up two more for the boys. So they're excited. We're going to share these as a family. But this is the strawberries and cream. And then I think we also got a lemon raspberry. Lemon raspberry. So we're going to just take little slivers of this right now. Oh, and while well, I get the bunch ready, it's happening. My house is smelling like a Hobby Lobby at fall. There's pumpkin. This pumpkin smells in my warmer everywhere. So, all right, let's try this. It is so pretty. Put the most beautiful frosting on these. All right, I thought it would be kind of fun to show you what Rich and I give to clients typically when they close a home. We have a few different variations of this, but we give them a cake from Nothing Button Cakes. It is so cute, has a little house on it. And then I generally make a basket. So this is a fall themed basket that I put together. Um, this is just kind of a cute decorative piece because it is gonna quickly turn to fall here and they are new to the area. I've put in some pumpkin spice soap. This is amazing. It came from Hobby Lobby. It smells wonderful. And you can use it all season long. Um, this was a really pretty candle. Okay, I love Hobby Lobby candles. This was a buttery pumpkin, and I'm telling you, it's something about having a home that smells just beautiful buttery scents for the fall. Um, a few uh, kitchen items that I purchased, and then these really pretty little dish towels that I thought were so cute. Family is everything, and it's embroidered very nicely. And then the other one is fall is in the air. And I'm telling you all, in September, it is so beautiful here in the fall. And then I gave a cross, which is, if God is for us, who can be against us, Romans 8:31. And then this comfy, plush, black and white check kind of farmhousey blanket and there you have it so that is part of our haul for everyone and i just love doing this have you ever tried to make 
or eat. 1950s tomato soup cake. That's what we're doing today. All right, you guys, I've got all of my ingredients ready to go. My can of tomato soup, butter, sugar, eggs. Let's go make a cake. So everything in this recipe will be linked below in the description, but I'm gonna add two cups of cake flour. I have a really good helper helping me add some cinnamon. cinnamon, the nutmeg, and the cloves. Everything is making the house just smell like pumpkin -y. It's so good. Do you guys smell that? Mm -hmm. mm. So here is when I'm going to add my baking soda, my baking powder, my salt, and all of the measurements will be again in the description below. Okay, I am just stirring in my dry ingredients, guys. It smells like Thanksgiving in my house. I'm not the best about stirring in my wet ingredients separate from my dry ingredients, so I just mix them all together in one big bowl. I don't know if it matters. It never has really messed anything up. So a little butter never hurt anybody, and then I'm gonna add in about a cup of sugar, and I'm going to start mixing that really well after I add in one egg and you'll see that it's all starting to come together at this point. Here's my little helper again, mixing, mixing, stir, stir, and we're about ready to add the Campbell soup. All right, and now we add our star ingredient. I don't know if this is gonna mess things up or not. Our can of Campbell's tomato soup. It's a 10.75 ounce can. We're gonna add it into all this. I don't even know. We're gonna add it all into this right now. tell it's gonna be a very thick batter but um, it's kind of almost I don't know it kind of smells almost like a carrot cake It's at 350 for 35 to 45 minutes. While that's in the oven, um, I just I bought a buttercream Betty Crocker whipped buttercream frosting because I just didn't think I'd have time with soccer practice and karate belt testing today and everything. I didn't think I'd have time to make a homemade frosting. But what I'm going to do is I'm gonna add a little bit of ground cinnamon to the frosting. So it'll be like a cinnamon buttercream frosting. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Let the cake cool for about 10 minutes when it comes out of the oven. Uh, and then I'll start to frost it and we'll see if this tomato soup cake, if it's worth it guys. <laughs> I can barely wait to dig into this. Oh my goodness. It is so pretty. Oh, it smells amazing. Let's see what we think. Mmm. Wow. <laughs> frosting. Hold on. Goodness gracious me. I had to put my hair back because I had frosting in it. This is so. Mmm, you okay. guys. It's a spice cake. 
Oh, it reminds me of a spice cake from my childhood. I have very, very good memories. My dad always would make a spice cake. Like he loves spice cake and pink lemonade cakes. Those are the two cakes I always can remember him making. But he would make spice cakes just randomly. And I love that about him is he would just get a hankering for a, or a hunger for a spice cake and he would make a spice cake when I was a little kid. So dad, you will love this recipe. It is so good. It is a spice cake. I can't taste the tomato at all, but I will say it's very moist. Oh my goodness, I'm supposed to share this piece with the boys and I can't stop. It's very moist and I think that that is a product of the Campbell's tomato soup. <gasps> Grandmas in the day, in the 50s, knew what they were doing. Oh my God. All right, it's your turn. What do you think? You gotta try it. <laughs> oh. It's messy. It's a messy one. Mmm, that's good. Is it good? Mm -hmm. I thought so too. Can you taste the tomato soup? No. No? What does it taste like to you? It tastes like a cinnamon cake. A cinnamon cake, yep. All right, boys, twinnies, come here. Good job. Twins, come try it. Lost again, going back. Joey tried it, loved it. Jacob's gonna try it right now. We're gonna see if he loves it. We're all just eating one piece because we will save it for later. All right, guys, well, all right, everybody. So you have to try this cake. This is, this Campbell Soup tomato cake, tomato soup cake is a winner in our book. We are gonna make this all fall long. I suggest you get cozy, start thinking about fall, maybe make this cake for your family with some like chili. We've got lasagna in the oven right now but I think your family will love it. Jacob just said that, Jacob just said that this cake reminds him of pumpkin pie. That's exactly what it is. It's like a pumpkin pie cake. So anyway, y'all won't wanna miss this. You will wanna try this. And I'm gonna challenge my parents, mom and dad, you guys need to try this cake because you guys will love it as well. So if you try it, let me know in the comments below and happy start of fall. I know it's not September yet. I know it's still warm outside, but kids are starting to go back to school around here tomorrow. And my kids don't go back until September because we homeschool, but it is happening. And whenever kids go back to school, I start to think of fall. So this would be a great cake to make and surprise your family when they get home from their first day of school this week. All right, guys, have a great one, and I will see you back here next time. Bye.